everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is the evening, but it's quite light. Look how light it is. And it's actually, what time is it? Let me have a look. It's half past seven. And can we appreciate the brightness? We have much brightness going on in this flat. We're off to a wonderful one. It's been such a nice day. It's been the day of the beginning of spring, it feels. It was a good day, a very sunny day. I'm feeling very summery, feeling very spring. I like it, I love a blue sky. <laughs> I don't know if you know that already, but I love a blue sky. I thought I would pick up my camera and have a little bit of a vlog this evening. I haven't really done an evening-y vlog for a while. I quite like them. Thought I'd, thought I'd give it a bit of a go. Got a few things I wanna do. I'm gonna show you my wardrobe, actually. That is something we are going to do. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things in a bit. I also really wanna bake some cookies because I'm not gonna lie, I have been a little bit kind of craving lately. Don't know what it is, don't know what it is, but I feel like when I've been healthy for a few weeks, really good, I suddenly get these bursts of cravings and they have begun. So we need to go and make some cookies that are like a healthier alternative, do you know what I mean? Because then I won't go and grab the Jaffa cake box, we'll just go with the healthier cookies. And I know what's in them, so it's a good one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm by myself, Niall is at work, so I thought, why not bring you on my evening <laughs> of chills? Got my little fairy lights on, Got big Ken chilling over there. Feeling great. The house is the house is basically done as well, so you know. I also feel a little bit kind of hot and bothered at the moment. So I think I need to kind of sort my skin out. Have a bit of a bath. I'm feeling a bit headachy and a bit hot. I also think it's because, you know what, I went to the opticians this morning, had my first ever eye test, and I need glasses. Not that much, only when I watch TV and long sight wise, which is strange because I thought because of editing and stuff and being on my laptop a lot, I thought maybe it would affect my short sight, but maybe that's not right. But I can't wait to show you my glasses because <laughs> I picked some out. I went by myself, so I had no one's second opinion. So um, I think many people are gonna laugh at me. Anyway, I'm going to show you my wardrobe. That's what I'm gonna do. I do really wanna set out the flat and make it cozy though. I'm gonna put all my little lights on, put some candles on and chill. Bluebell stinks as well i'm not gonna lie she is a smelly one are you smelly very smelly so i think she's gonna have a bath before i have a bath because basically she's on her first one her first little heat <laughs> and she's a little bit of a smelly one she definitely needs a bath she was just sat on my lap and i was like jesus christ someone got a bit smelly in a day anyway let me show you my wardrobe a little bit more because i I spoke about this on my office tour video that I was gonna kind of show a little bit more in detail my wardrobe, but I didn't. Oh, it's very dark. I need to start turning my lights on. Oh, it's a bit chilly in here as well. Oh, let's put my little fairy lights on. I've actually put the batteries in the little pink fairy lights that were in the bedroom. I don't know if you watched the moving vlog. Finally put the batteries in them and they're pink. I don't know why I didn't realize they were pink. Oh, it's a bit wonky over here though, isn't it? Bit of a wonky one, there we go. How cute is that? Off topic completely. Let's have a little look at my wardrobe. I have shown it a little bit throughout videos, but I just thought I'd show you a bit more <laughs> because why not? In here we have all my gym leggings, which I know is very dramatic and just stupid. So I have been giving them away slowly, the ones that I don't wear so much. I did a big charity clear out and I've been sending a few things out here and there but um, we've got shorts over here, but this is the easiest way I find to store my gym leggings is by rolling them up. And I would highly recommend rolling up your clothes because it makes so much more room if you're a bit of a squisher like me. I mean, mine is starting to go a bit drastic already, so I think there's gonna be some clearing going on. Then, oh, bit stuck. Then we have sports bras and sport tops, gym tops. So my sports bras have got a little bit messy. They were a lot neater than this a few days ago. Here's a bit of a yellow. Love this one from ASOS. And we have my favorite set in the world at the moment. We have the ombre peach seamless. If it, it, you can't really tell that that's, oh yeah, look, can you see the ombre there? It's a peach sports bra on a peach bed. <laughs> it's a good one. 
that is my favourite set, which comes with a matching legging and a matching crop top. And in this drawer, we have tops. As you can see, this has also turned into a little bit of a mess. They were all in rows. <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. So, um, this is kind of like my, my kind of strappy crop top, bit of everything. And then we've got jeans in this one. We've got mum jeans over here. Mum jeans are my favourite kind of jean. And then we've got kind of like skinny. These, I love these, these are from Pretty Little Thing. I don't know if you've seen them, but I've worn them lots lately. I'll link them in the description in case, if they still have them, I'm not sure if they do. And these definitely have to be my all time fave jeans ever. My ones that have little letters on it that spell babe. And when my mum came up to visit, she reattached the E to my babe. Because for a while it was bab, and I just didn't have any sewing tools. And I'm not going to lie, I'm quite good at domestic things, but not a sewer. But I didn't want to mess up the, ba the babe jeans, so um, my mum did the E, and she's done it a little bit far apart, but we're fine. We're not a bab anymore, we're a babe. If you watch my Instagram stories and stuff, you probably will know about that. Bit of a fail, but it's fine. We've got babe again. So yeah, they're my favourite. These are from Topshop, which I'll also link if they still are available. But yeah, little bit of a jean, jean chat in there. And then, moving along. Oh, hi, Poppy. You decided to leave your cupboard. How are you today? You've got two more days until you can go outside. Are you a happy cat? Look at that stripe on the back of her head. And then, in here, I have my pyjama section. So I don't know if you already know this, but I love a pyjama. This is the all-time fave, which is starting to get a bit too hot to wear, which is a bit sad, but this is the one that has the ears on the hood, which I get quite a lot of questions about within my vlogs. ASOS, love it. I'll link it if I, if, if they're still in stock, I shall link it. Um, these are a little bit out of season, but we'll save them till next year. <laughs> And then, yeah, just got the odd old pyjama. We've got the tops over here. This one's my matching one with Niall. He's got the same in the male version. <laughs> I love this one too. This is my, like, autumn -y one with the hedgehogs and the squirrels having a cup of tea. Love that one, but it is slightly out of season for that too. Then we have a little bit of a loungewear. <laughs> this doesn't look very neat. Not a good one. They were all in a line, not so much anymore. This is kind of like my joggers, basically. Joggers and leggings, but like comfy ones. And then we've got more comfy ones. I love these from Gymshark. I haven't spoken about these yet, but these are the high-waisted Gymshark joggers in khaki. I think they're pretty new. And they just, they make your waist look teeny because they're so high and they're so comfortable. Love them, love them. If I can find them too, I will link them. And then we have kind of summery shoes here. I recently bought these and I'm so excited to wear them. And we appreciate people are probably going to hate them, but I just think they're cute. They'll look really cute with outfits, I think. Also have the wardrobes I kind of showed you in the office tour. So we've got this one, which is kind of like bodies. Got some socks, the odd bra, which I don't ever wear. <laughs> we've got cropped hoodies there, and then we've got shorts and skirts there. And then in here is my little colourful pride of pride of joy. <laughs> Pride and joy. Is that the right saying? Why is my brain gone dead? Bit colourful, isn't it? We've got a bit of a colourful. This is the best top in the world of tops. It's the pretty little thing top. Let me get it out so you can get the full effect. It is... Oh. <laughs> Very well hung. That's sure. That's sure? That's for sure. Why can't my brain function today? It's because I need my glasses. Why is it on so badly on the hanger? So this is it. Love it very much so we have a frilly sleeve if i can find this i will link it in the description and then also there's this one which is the same but in a pastel so i know some people are not rainbow women but this is kind of like a subtle rainbow woman love it it looks very blue on my camera right now i'm not sure why the light's gone blue but it's very nice and also also let me just chat to you about my new favorite jacket of recent the polka dot denim jacket which is from asos and my dad got me this for my birthday it's lovely i've worn it so much lately because the seasons are changing we're going into a spring it's a very spring jacket spices up anything you wear i've got this really nice little jumpsuit i've got a top over it at the moment because i'm a bit chilly but 
got this really nice little jumpsuit on. I don't know if you can even see, but... And I just put that on top of it, and it just really spiced it. Love a spicy item. And I really wanted, like, a nice polka dot item, and I feel like we found it, didn't we? We found it. So, yeah, that is basically my wardrobes. So, I think what I'm going to do is set up the house for the evening, shut the curtains, put the lights on, put a couple of candles on, you know, and make it cosy. That's what we're gonna do. Lightified. So here we've got some fairy lights. Here's a good old candle. This one's this one is very much a Christmas candle, but I just like the smell of it. It's the winter spice from John Lewis. Love it. We have the little candlesticks. I think they're very cute and pretty, aren't they? And then we've got the little fairy lights, and we've got the bluebell. She's a little bit sad. <laughs> because she smells. And then here we have, this is actually a pumpkin one. Again, very much out of season, Megan. I think it's time for a bluebell bath because she is very much a smelly one. Should we go for a bath? No? Come with me. Bluebell, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Come in, good girl for bath time. Woohoo, it's all done. <laughs> yeah, treat. Sit, good girl. Now wait, 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 wait. Hey, <laughs> wait. Go on then. Oh. She's off. So I've decided to pop on some PJs, so I put on my little avocado toast ones from ASOS, because I love them. They're very cute, and they're like my less, they're my in-between warm and cold ones, do you know what I mean? Because the material's very like thin, but still a little bit cotton, so a little bit warm, you know. I don't want too hot, because it's not too hot today, it's quite sunny, but it's not sunny. <laughs> it's now dark, but you know what I mean. So. I actually am going to start making my cookies because one, I'm starving and two, I don't want to be doing it too late. I want to try and get a little bit of an early night tonight. I am going to pop on my dinner while I make the cookies just to save time. I'm going to pop on some salmon, some potatoes and some broccoli for dinner, which is kind of like my staple favourite food at the moment. It's just like ridiculously healthy, but it tastes lovely with some mayo and some ketchup. It's a lovely one, so I'm going to pop that on while I bake, but we'll bake together because it's going to be fun. It's going to be an experiment. I'm not doing Niall's recipe today. I'm literally just doing a little bit of an experiment, so bear with me. Hopefully they won't be on the floor like the Oreo brownies were, but we'll try. We will try. It's going to be a good one, I think. I've got a good feeling. Here are my ingredients. We have cocoa powder. We've got some honey. We have dark chocolate chunks. We've got some golden granulated sugar and refined cane sugar. We've got some coconut oil, we've got some baking powder, we've got some peanut butter, soya milk. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna try and drink soya milk as my milk from now on, even with my cereal. I'm hoping it'll taste nice. I've always been really scared of soya milk. I always imagine it to be sour because it's called soya. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but when I was younger, my mum always drank it, and I was like, Mum, you're drinking sour milk, but I'm guessing it's not sour, is it? So, I'm going to put it in the cookies, and then I'm going to try and continue to drink it, because I want to do good things to life. <laughs> then we've got vanilla extract, and we've got bicarbonate of soda, or baking soda, whatever you want to call it, and 
flour. So I'm gonna get going with it. I will pop the recipe in the description box, whatever I end up doing, and we'll see how it goes. Not sure, we shall see. Could be amazing, could be awful. basically what I'm doing here which I thought just thought might be a little bit difficult to understand just by looking I am very messy look at my hand <laughs> so basically what I've done is I've got all of the dough ready in the balls and I'm literally splitting them in half as you can see like that and then taking a little scoop of a peanut butter like this make sure your hands are clean <laughs> and then pop it on one half of the cookie Press the other half in and then re like squeeze together and then you get a bit of a peanut surprise in the middle. I think it's going to be wonderful. Don't know about you, but I do. Do you know what? I think this could possibly be the greatest bit of baking I have ever done. The recipe, I did kind of get inspiration from a recipe I saw online for like the peanut surprise in the middle, but I kind of adjusted a few bits to make it a little bit more healthy. I mean, it's not healthy, is it? It looks like proper full on double chocolate peanutified cookies, and they are. But at least I know exactly what's in them. That's what I always think. Make your own desserts. Because then you know what's in them, you know what you're eating, you've not got some secret little ingredient that might be a little bit too naughty for that day. You know what's in there, so. We'll see how they turn out. They've gone in the oven for 10 minutes on 160 degrees. So we shall see, and then I think they need to cool down for 10 minutes. So I'm going to finish off making my dinner, because my potatoes are looking a little bit sad on the boil. <laughs> They've run out of water. Um, and I'm going to pop my salmon in the oven. And I shall catch up with you in a little bit to see if the cookies are a wonderful one or if we have failed again. But I don't think we failed this time, so I think we're gonna be all right. I think so. Dinner is ready, but the cookies aren't quite ready, so I'm just gonna eat this now. But these cookies took longer than 10 minutes, that's for sure. So I got them out and they were literally just too squishy, like they just didn't feel ready. So I, I think I left them in for like 15 minutes, maybe slightly more because they just, yeah, they just weren't having it. But I'm just waiting them for them to cool down now, and then we'll see what the peanut surprise is like, what the taste is like, but I have very high hopes. I did <laughs> have a little bit of a bite of that one. As you can see, it's mainly gone, and they taste amazing, they smell amazing. Look at these. They are incredible, and they are very gooey inside. Let me see if I can show you. Look at the goo. I definitely think I will be eating a few of them tonight. <laughs> I am actually just running myself a good old bath because I haven't had one for quite a long time actually. I don't know why. I have the biggest bath ever in this new house and I love it. I've been in it once and it was so big that I couldn't really rest my head. I think I'm gonna have to like invest in some form of a bath pillow, one of those ones that like sucks onto the side of your bath because I can't kind of lean and I quite like leaning in the bath. And I also have done a little bit of a granny purchase as Niall says, he thinks I'm very much a granny. I got this bath, a little ledge. So this opens up and then you have like a little place to put your phone or like your iPad to watch something. This is actually a, a wine glass holder. So you like slip the wine glass in like that, the circle bit. And then here we've got a mug holder and this is just like a little bit to put whatever you want. And like a book or whatever. So, um, pretty incredible. And I've got a cookie on my finger. <laughs> Definitely gonna be using that tonight and watching something in the bath. But first I do need to take off my makeup because I think I wanna put a face mask on. I think I'm gonna try out actually my Charlotte Tilbury face mask, which I haven't used yet because I haven't had an occasion, but I feel like tonight is an occasion 
for the Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm not sure where I put it exactly. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Magical Facial Dry Sheet Mask in 15 minutes. So it's dry, which is really strange for a face mask, and you just stick it on, and I think you can reuse it twice or three times. So I'm going to put this on in the bath, but I do need to... I put a little bit of my skin tint on this morning, so I need to take that off with my makeup remover. And I think I might do a bit of a liquid peel to exfoliate before I put this on. I have my Body Shop Chamomile Makeup Remover. Look out, here she comes. And now I'm just going to use the Body Shop Drops of Light Liquid Peel. So I did talk about this quite a bit in one of my recent vlogs, so I'm not going to blab on too much. It just kind of removes all the dead skin on your face, and I just feel like it is great. Like, it's just so purifying. It just makes you feel really kind of fresh and ready to be a great person at life. So you just kind of rub it in and then all your dead skin comes off which is not the loveliest but it's quite pleasing. So I'm just going to wait for the bath to finish that thinning. We're going in and we'll be having a relaxing time. Actually, I did get a package today, which I have not opened yet, which I'm going to open with you now because I know what it is and it's a very, very exciting one, I think. We have a rainbow doormat. So I saw it on a site called Firebox and I was like, I just need it. But I'm a little unsure whether I want it at the front door or whether I want it leading up to the back French doors. Not sure. I don't think Niall's that pleased. <laughs> Poppy is not amused. <laughs> She's like, Mum, do we need any more rainbows in this flat? Poppy, it's a rainbow, look. What do you think? You like it? I like it. I think for now, I'm going to put it at the front door, just because purely I want Niall to come home from work with a rainbow surprise to his feet. It's just a really nice way to walk into a house on a rainbow. <laughs> I just love it. Look at this. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at this. How cute is that? What do you two reckon? Mum, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can't be the only one who got lost inside the blue of those eyes. I've got to let her go. I know it won't be easy. I want to hold her close. This is Poppy's evening snuggle routine. The snuggle in her comes out in the evening. Not so much in the day, in the evening, we get a snuggly Poppy. And we've got a bluebell sleeping over here. <laughs> so I think I am going to end this video here. I am just chilling out in bed now. I'm actually going to read some of my book, which I'm reading at the moment, which is The Overnight Success. How to be an overnight success, I mean. Very good, very motivating. Love it. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a read of that. <laughs> I did discover when I put that face mask on that there wasn't really gonna be a way I was gonna eat my cookies through the mask because it, I didn't realize it was gonna be so close to my mouth. So um, that was a little bit of a mission and I only managed to get through one because they were so kind of rich in a good way, but they were so, so nice. I would 100% recommend making them. If you like a bit of a sweet treat and you wanna know what's in your cookie, make one of my peanut surprises. So good. I will make sure I write out the recipe in the description box if you do want to have a little go. Also, that face mask was really nice. My skin feels so smooth now. It's a bit of a weird face mask though because it doesn't really feel like you have a face mask on. You know, look with a face mask, your skin usually goes tight on the face mask because it dries. This one was just really kind of chilled <laughs> and it, my skin just feels very kind of soft and satiny now. And I think it looks quite glowy, which is rather good. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this little cosy evening of chilling and skin and pets and food and cookies and salmon <laughs> and rainbow mats. I can't wait till Niall comes home to, have it, to open the door to a rainbow. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And it's a little bit of a different one, but I quite like doing different little vlogs. I really like vlogging. Yeah, I do hope that you liked it. <laughs> Let me know if you did. 
and if you like a little bit of a different one sometimes like this I think it's quite nice I just enjoy watching vlogs that are quite homey that's I think that's why I like to make them because I watch youtubers that kind of do a lot of home stuff I feel like it's really comforting and cozy don't know maybe that's just me <laughs> not sure but yeah anyway I do hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did enjoy it and I will hopefully see you in my next video which is gonna be I think kind of a video all about my getting ready for Bali because it's almost Bali time I can't believe how soon Bali is very soon I bought myself a suitcase today very excited very excited for the Bali life to begin it's gonna be fun and I think I'm gonna vlog I am gonna vlog it's gonna be good we're gonna have Bali vlogs it's gonna be good